2,790 pounds, basic little 19-foot Gulf Stream bunkhouse coming in here, Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a perfect little inexpensive starter family camper. If you want to try camping before you buy camping, this would be the way to go. And what makes this even better for first-timers is the fact that the original owners, after they decided that, yes, they do in fact like camping and they want to get to something a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, they when they swapped up, we uh, determined very quickly that their original hitch was not going to be sufficient for their newer, bigger camper. So so they're leaving it behind. So there's some extra money that first time folks aren't going to need to spend to be able to get this trailer towed around safely from point A to point B. Now sometimes simple can be good. Simple can be smart and simple can be effective like carpetless. Carpetless is nice. It's easy cleaning. It looks sharp, you know. Um, and that's really the whole logic behind this RV. This was never designed with the intention of being the fanciest, flashiest, biggest, bestest thing out there. It was designed to be a simple, smart little box that's less expensive that you can tote your family around. That's all it is. Oh, we got a simple east-west front bed for mom and dad. I do like the cross breeze windows though. Um, a little camper like this, you really don't necessarily need a full overhead air conditioner like you might find in the Wolf Pups that we have here at Halet RV. Um, so, yes, while technically slightly uh, less powerful than a roof air, it's also more than sufficient for this little space. Now, that also means that uh, you have a lower overall uh, height clearance, which is kind of handy. Um, you've got good cross breeze windows, a simple little two-person dinette that if need be, you could fold down into a fifth sleeping space. And I like that set of power outlets down there under the table between the benches. And today, you know, that's something that's been in RVing for a long, long time. It used to be like for the coffee maker or whatnot. But in today's day and age, that is ultra handy for stuff like phone chargers especially in a little camper like this if you're going to be stuck inside on a rainy day where you can't even really get a lot of use out of that awning you're going to be glad you have that now they did a pretty cool thing right here um this if you choose to add a tv this is kind of where that would go Otherwise, it's just elevated countertop prep space, and you can always find something to do with horizontal prep space, which is also what I like about that chunk of countertop real estate above the refrigerator over there. Also, note that you have really easy reach kitchen outlets over here. That's a hard thing to find nowadays, I swear. But down below it, you see this huge cabinet. That's actually a hanging closet, and a nice place to hang clothes or jackets or anything is something that little campers do not traditionally do very well. So that was something I was really happy to see here. Now, we do not have a vent hood above the stove, but they do have a vent up here. But the cool thing is that's kind of doubling as a skylight as well. So simply because heat rises, that will help exhaust heat. Um, the uh, bunks, the you know, trying to be fair, they used it a little bit. It's not like it was never used. Obviously, they went camping to see if they like camping. A couple little, I mean, if I'm being ultra picky, a little couple minor scars here. But guys, if you were buying a used car and there was a little bitty ding on the bumper or something, you wouldn't think twice. And that's really kind of what this is right here. It looks like maybe uh, one of the kiddos' feet scuffed it when they were climbing up and down in the bunk or something. I'm not sure. Uh, you can tell, though, by looking at the bunk mattresses, they weren't really used awful hard. Um, they swapped up from here to a 245 Coachman Apex, which is a, uh, it gives them two double beds instead of two single beds and a dinette slide, so they're going to pick up some extra space there. Now, we do have a dry bath back here with a foot flush toilet, and that is not shower surround paneling, by the way. This is something that I've seen uh, really price-conscious brands like these Gulf Streams or the Wildwoods and Salem's do, um, where what they'll do is they'll actually flip from a printed wallboard to a white wallboard to give you the look of the shower surround because that's what you're expecting to see. And there's nothing wrong with it, by the way. All this means you need to do is after you take a shower, you take your towel, wipe down the wall super fast like that. That's all it takes. And having that extra skylight in here for that extra light in the bathroom is very nice when you're boondocking so you don't have to use up any battery power because uh, that's really going to be a premium thing when you are boondocking. Overall, the exterior looks pretty darn good. I don't see any like harsh weathering spots. I don't see any uh, decal fade or peeling or anything like that. Once again, kind of like the little scuffs on the bunk. If I'm being ultra picky, I noticed two little dings up front. It looks like maybe a stone uh, came off a, a tire during towing and maybe caught the nose, but that's really the worst I'm coming up with. And remember, that hitch is included with this, so that's going to be roughly somewhere in the neighborhood of about 500 extra dollars that a first-time RVer, things that you need. No matter what, if you've got a, you know, a vehicle uh, and you're going to be towing this little camper, unless you get like, you know, 
a crazy overkill three quarter ton truck and you just want a tiny camper, you're gonna want that hitch, you're gonna need that. So that's nice that you're gonna save a chunk of change right there. Um, the tires on this look to have been replaced at one point uh, with a set of Goodyear Marathons, including the spare. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't believe this is a brand that ever came with uh, Goodyear tires new from the factory level. Again, I might be wrong. I know a lot about this business. I won't pretend to know every single thing about this business. Um, I really don't have anything else, I guess you could say derogatory to say. Um, the roof has a slight taper to it for a little bit of runoff. It is somewhat flat in the middle section here, but again, without an air conditioner up top to kind of like the weight of that buckle over time, I don't see anything there that scares me. One quick note, again, this was built to be um, you know, less expensive, simple, but effective. You almost assume everything seems to have a power awning nowadays. This one actually does still have a manual, but uh, we're happy to show you how that works before you take it home. Now, this being a used RV, it'd be an as-is purchase, but before you take it home, what we'll do, we'll pull it up to the building, we'll plug it in, we'll, uh, you know, get you some propane, battery, or, uh, you know, electricity, water, all that. We'll let you see everything work before you take it home, because I, I don't think I would make a purchase under any other circumstance, and I don't expect you either. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.